All right. Hello, everyone. I am live today in the Facebook group. I'm super excited about the upcoming training that we have. It's going to be starting next week. So make sure that you've taken the business assessment. All right. So let's go into what I want to talk about today, which is how to create a multiple six-figure business, which is what I call a legacy business. Your goal and building your business, if you're a social media manager, digital marketer, VA, OBM, any type of done-for-you service provider, is to build a business that's going to hit at least $200,000 in revenue, mm -hmm. minimum $200,000. The reason why is because when you build a multiple six-figure business at that rate, you can hire other people to do your client work. Because the reality, which I really hate the fact that people don't do this enough, but a lot of people online are talking about how to get clients and how to do this and how to do that, but they're not teaching people how to build a sustainable long-term business that can grow year after year. That could be something that you have even until when you retire and you have this cash flow coming into your life, which is through your business. Your business can be part of one of your, retire your retirement vehicles, right? In order to do that, you need to really hit the 200K and higher mark. So today, I really want you to think big and to dream big and to think bigger than you what, what you've thought about before, right? Trying to hit just $100,000, like a lot of coaches will tell you, you need to just make you know 100K a year and hit six figures. But with inflation right now, that is not enough money. <laughs> it is not enough money with inflation. You need at least 200K. 250K is a sweet spot because at that point, when you're making 250K in gross revenue in your business, you can hire an assistant. You can hire multiple assistants to do your client work. This way, if you get tired, if you get sick, if you want to go on vacation, you don't have to always be working all the time because you have these systems in place. You have people helping the clients and you can take a break. And I learned this the hard way when I started my when I first started my social media digital marketing business over 10 years ago was I was doing it myself, I had some clients of a high ticket, and I had to produce so much content every single month. I was like going crazy, working around the clock, drinking cups of coffee, and just running myself <laughs> like, running myself ragged because I was trying to do every single thing in my business. So what I did was I restructured my business. I hired assistants, I hired content writers, I hired people to do web design, everything. And that little small team I had grew into my little lean team that runs my agency. And today we still have a lean team in place and we build client funnels. We help our clients with consulting. We do a lot of automation for clients right now. But why I'm sharing this with you is because I want you to think beyond you. It's not about you. It's about the entity that you create. The entity you create is your agency and your business. If you, want, if you want to call it agency, you can. You don't have to call it agency. You can call it a boutique consulting firm. But it's a business that can run without you. And if you get that business to 2,500, I would say 205, 250K a year. <laughs> I haven't had enough coffee, so just bear with me. 250K a year, that will allow you to hire other people to do the client work. And you can still pay yourself six figures. You can pay yourself $100,000 as a salary. It, you take the other money and you invest it in other things in your business, hiring people, assets, as far as automation, all right? You can also use that money to save, have a business savings where you use that to reinvest back into your business. So it gives you that freedom to have these choices to make investments in your business and even in your life. And I'm telling you that because unfortunately in our industry, not enough people are teaching this. People are focused on how do you get your first client, how you get this and that, but they're not talking about building a structure and creating operating systems in your business, okay? So in order to do this and grow your business even past 250K, you need to have good foundation and good a good structure in place, okay? So what you want to have are clear client onboarding systems, right? So when you get a client, you have a step that you can take them through or set of steps so they can be onboarded, they can feel secure in their, invest, their investment with you. You also need to have consistent lead generation, okay? This is where a lot of people fail. They do not have a lead generation system where they're getting in front of new people and booking sales calls and having a steady inflow of clients every single month. 
And this is the thing that this is the difference between someone who's making 250K in their business versus someone who can barely get clients and, and is barely making it is you need to have a really consistent and I wouldn't say automated, but a lead generation system. Now, if you automate your lead generation, that's even better to automate it because you don't, you can literally just relax and it's just coming through the door. But even if it's, there's some manual steps, that's, that's better than nothing. So lead generation is where you're going to choose a platform, whether it's in person, maybe you're going to in-person events. <clears throat> maybe you have a really good referral system. Maybe you have Instagram or YouTube or some other, maybe you're using LinkedIn, maybe you're using a platform and you're putting out consistent content and people are, you know, inquiring about your services, but you need to have lead generation. Now, when it comes to lead generation, I have perfected this. <laughs> like, this is one of the things I love helping people with is having consistent lead generation. There are a lot of different platforms you can use to generate new leads into your business, right? You do not have to be on every single platform. You do not have to be on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and this. And you don't have to do all that. You don't have to be dancing on reels. In fact, if you're trying to go after premium high ticket clients, you do not have to be dancing on reels. I'm going to just tell you that right now. <laughs> if that's what you think you need to do, no, that's that. You don't have to do that. In fact, if you think about it, your ideal client as a service provider is going to be a serious business owner a business owner who ideally is making seven figures or six figures in revenue, at least multiple six figures, okay? A multiple six figure to seven figure entrepreneur is busy. They're busy, okay? They're not, bought, you know, scrolling their news feed, just watching people dance on TikTok and Instagram. They're not doing that. They are running their business or attending to their family or personal life. So you need to like, you know, I'm going to also talk a little bit about this probably in a, in a later video, but you need to get really real and upfront about the types of clients you want to get. And unfortunately, in this industry, they're teaching you these really petty tact tactics that are just, you're going to attract low, low, low level, low quality clients if you're just focused on entertaining people on reels and entertaining people on TikTok. That's just, you're not going to get the right people. You're not going to call in high, high ticket, high quality, serious entrepreneurs, okay? So if you're watching this, go ahead and comment below if we have anybody here, because if you comment below, more people will see this in the group. But I really want to talk about that. So your lead generation has to speak to your ideal clients who are serious entrepreneurs, who are established businesses, who have they're making a lot of money. They're making at least 250K. Your ideal client is making 250K or seven figures, okay? And your, your content has to speak to that type of business owner so that you can attract high quality leads into your business, okay? And you're not wasting your time talking to people who aren't serious about growing their business. You need to talk to serious entrepreneurs. So you need to have these lead generation systems, your, your messaging has to be really concise and straight to the point and talking to the problems of your ideal clients. And you need to have a system where you're putting out content or if you're not going to do social media, because you don't have to use social media to grow your done for you service business. If you're going to be doing in-person events, you want to be doing authority marketing. You want to be marketing yourself as an authority and going to locations where people who have established businesses are spending time. All right, so those are things that you need to have in your in place. When you have this consistent flow of new clients coming into your business, and the next step is now you have to have a workflow to handle the new people coming in and to, to actually deliver on your services and whatever it is that you promised your, your clients when they came into the business, okay? And that is why systems and processes are so important so that you have longevity in your business. Year over year, you have new people coming in, you're able to deliver on those systems, and that's going to allow you to have stability in your business. And when you set these things up, you're building a machine, okay? You have to think about your business like you're creating like an, an engine, right? The engine is running the business. Not always you, the engine, not just you. All right, so I shared a little bit today 
And I really just had this on my mind. I want to come in here really quick and just share this with you. I want you to change your mindset about the way that you think about having a business and running a business and your future plans for your business. Because I want you, especially if you're a woman and you have, you know, you have other things you want to do in life. You have maybe you have family, maybe you want to travel, maybe you have passions, right? You want to be using your business to fund your lifestyle. Okay. Use your business to fund your lifestyle. That's why I'm, I'm telling you that you are not your business. Your business, I feel like honestly, when we when we when we act like our business is us, we get too attached to it. <laughs> we get too attached. And like you just people just take things really personal. But your business is an engine. You have to find, you got to find a way to separate yourself from that. And I'm going to talk more about that when we have the three-day workshop that's coming up. Um, just FYI, I'm in my co-working space. So you see some people in the back because we're in the office. So yeah. All right. So I'm excited to have you in this. I also have an assessment. If you have not taken the assessment, comment below and I'll send the link. And it's a free business assessment to see where you are in your business and what you should focus on to get to the next revenue level. All right. So make sure that you, I'll go ahead and put a link in the comments, but comment below if you don't have it. And I will see you at the upcoming workshop. All right. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.